hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to learn how to solve problems involving second derivative using the casio fs now one es plus second edition scientific calculator fast and easily all right for your multiple choice questions on the calculus so ensure it stays the very end of this video all right so having known that let's get started this is the casio calculator the second edition casio fs and our es plus all right so the very best thing you have to do be to reset it as usual guys very important to reset press shift but so now for the instruction once we set all press three press equal to and press equal to again so it's now reset guys now the next thing you will have to do will be to ensure that the calculator is ready and mode very important guys whenever you're solving derivatives or differentiation always put the calculator in radian mode by default it used to be in degree so to put it in radian press shift this mode button our right, radian is option 4 press 4 okay it's now in radian now the next thing we are going to do will be to store a number of which i highly recommend to guys you can choose to store any other number aside to okay but i recommend to to be at the safer side because i practiced with two for a long time i have not found any error with it all right guys to start to the calculator you press the value i want to store it as x you press shift this button i will see l button start for store so since you want to store it as x you press this button for x and it indicates that two has been stored as x on this calculator okay we are good to go now the idea behind solving the VPT with the Casio calculator is to use a stored value of which we have already stored to. So right now we're going to use this two we have stored to differentiate the function and also use the same value we stored to simplify the options to get our answer. So let's do it together guys so that you understand this better. So let's bring on the derivative function the calculator. To do that press shift this definite integral sign button comma so we have given the function f of x equals 3 over 4 x plus 5 find y double prime all right so this y double prime signifies second derivative okay so um, replace y double prime with the 2 y over the x2 just like in this question too all right so don't get confused with these terms they mean the same thing so it's in fraction a function we have 3 over 4x alpha and this button for x okay plus 5 all right so that's it go by and, and put it to restored okay and also ensure that the brackets are balanced we have one bracket at the right and so one bracket at the left so the brackets are balanced very, very important guys let's press the code to now so we have this output okay now since we are solving second derivative guys Look at what you're going to do next. Firstly, this value we have here, you are going to store this as alphabet A on the calculator. So to store it as alphabet A, press shift store. All right, look at A alphabet T under this button. And it will indicate that this value has been stored as alphabet A on the calculator. Okay. So guys, let's go back. You press this arrow button. All right and it will come to this very place then you adjust and add this constant here plus 0 0.00001 all right so this constant you will add it this to here and press equal to again so it will give you this you then store this value as b all right alphabet b press shift all right this store button look at alphabet b here beside a so it has been stored as alphabet b we are good to go so let's remove this guys right now we are going to impute this value follow me guys step by step you understand this so right now we are going to do the alphabet b minus alphabet a so to bring them out first alpha and this b will come out okay minus alphabet a alpha and this is come out over the constant we added to the two we impute at the derivative level so the constant was 0 0.00001 okay five zeros take note guys very important press record to so we have 0 
0 0.043 right now we're going to simplify the options anyone that gives us 0 0.043 will be the answer to this question all right very interesting so let's begin with option a remember we got 0 0.043 okay so we have six in brackets 4x okay plus 5 to the power 3 so that's it for this option A no now let's check option B just put 96 here alright no so let's check option C is in fraction so we have 6 over in bracket 4 x plus 5 close the brackets the power 3 so that's it guys press equal to put it in decimal press sd no so last let's check option d let's adjust it here guys so the difference is it puts where i put 9 and put 9 to make it 96 okay press equal to put in decimal 0.043 exactly so the correct option is option d it's as simple as this guys so hope you are following what i'm teaching or explaining in this video now guys before we solve this question two that involve click identity if you are new to this channel ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more of these videos so like share, comment on this video to let me know what you feel from what you're learning so far I really appreciate this guys and it helps the YouTube algorithm to promote this video even more. Alright, so having done that guys to so support me on the channel, let's go ahead and solve question two. Okay, so for question two we have if y equals three cos three x then the two y over the x two is what? Still second derivative. So right now let's bring out the derivative function. I press shift and this button. Okay, so we have three cos x press alpha and this button close the bracket all right so the bracket are balanced two at the right and two at the left go by and put the two restored so that's it guys we are good to go press equal to so we have this value this output we store this as a all right press shift this button look at the a button so the value has been stored as a so let's go back where this upper arrow key so go to this place and add the constant here plus 0 0.0001 50 guys press record to so you store this one as b shift store look at the b alphabet here this button okay so it has been stored this go back now and imputes alpha b minus alpha a okay over the constant 0 0.00001 so that's the guy press record to we have minus 25.92 right now we're going to simplify the options anyone that gives us minus 25.92 be the answer to this question is as simple as this guys so let's do it together guys okay remember we got minus 25.92 so let's begin with option a we have minus 27 cos 3x okay close the bracket press equal to minus 25.92 exactly so the correct option is what option a so this is basically how you can solve problems involving second derivative using the Cassie FS91 ES plus second edition certificate calculator in seconds and fast for multiple choice questions. Hope there's something interesting from this video. Alright, let's call it the video here, guys. If you are new to this channel once more, ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. So like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel for what I learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding what I talked about in this video, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I'll ensure to give you a response. That's it for this class, guys. Don't forget to see once you are done, just press shift button 9 for the instruction, press 3, press
press record and press record to get so that's it now click on the end screen above and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching